Hello everyone, it's been ages since I've done one of these. So, this is Double A, and welcome to another WWE Supercard video for the date of August the 13th. Although this will become this will be going up shortly after midnight, my time on the 14th. So, what's this video about? Simple. It's the anniversary of WWE Supercard. And WWE Supercard has been around for four years. Myself, I was exposed to the game because I have a friend who had advance notice of it. And pretty much the day of, I would say probably about 10 or 20 minutes before it ever got publicly released, he gave me the heads up, said, hey, there's a, here's a game that you want to take a look at. And next thing I know, it's showing up in the Play Store. I'm downloading it, having a great time. Um, history of the game we've had four seasons we're coming up to summer we're coming up to fifth season sometime this week SummerSlam 18 tier um, with the first one and I wish I had screenshots here and I wish I prepared a little bit more for you prior to this video but use your imagination if you've been around for a while you know what I'm talking about if not lots of Google lots of videos done by a lot of other great YouTubers out there into the history of the game check them out people like Super Zone Barbecue Luigi PS3, uh, Bad Lad Dad, Biggie Dude, you, you've heard the name, so you know their reputation, go check them out. Um, season one was pretty basic. It was basically just cards, no frills. When I started playing it, um, you kind of pick up on it real quickly. King of the Ring took a bit to get used to, but... But we're going to go ahead and get into some stuff here. So, for instance, you start off with your basic. Nowadays, people now people nowadays are going to be buying. They may not have seen these cards, or if they have, they just kind of bypass them. But you would have season one cards, just basic, common, uncommon, rare. As you went up, got to ultra. Correction went from common to uncommon to rare, to super rare, to ultra rare, to epic, and then to legendary, and that was it. Just legendary, that was it. As time went on, they introduced new tiers like Survivor, WrestleMania, um, SummerSlam, etc., etc., etc. Now, King of the Ring back at that time, it was always possible to get doubles, get pros. If you want a King of the Ring, nowadays, not so much. Um, yeah, they're really... Um, the only way you really knew if your special move hit was seeing an increase in your stat score. You didn't have the animations that they do today. Um, King of the Rings started getting more pretty much a coin flip thing because everyone basically had the same cards. My favorite card out of everything... My favorite card out of the first season and overall would be Bruno San Martino. Love the card, cherished it for as long as I had it myself. I wish that they did with Supercard what NBA does with what 2K does with NBA 2K or whoever's running that now. In the fact that as you get on there's a thing called the what do you call that? Is it's like the legends, the what do they call those things? In any case, there was a special pa there were special cards that that represented the legends very well. They had high stats, pretty much the highest. In um, you it's kind of hard to do pros because you really wouldn't spend that much money to do a pro. The stats were big enough that you really didn't need to. Um, but yeah, I wish they did more in terms of a legendary packs. Whether it be as a tier in and of itself or special packs with a high enough price that it's worth your while. Hey, they're legends. What can you expect? Um, then we went on to season two where it was kind of a reset, but not really because basically you could still utilize your season one game cards, but you couldn't really use them in season two that much. Uh, like I said, it was the, it was basically a way to 
think it's a reset. Because in reality, it was because it was a whole new ball game. Like I said, you could still use your Season 1 cards. Um, you could fuse cards over. As a matter of fact, let me pull up one here. Season 1 cards, you could bring them over. And it's going to take a bit here. Where's that at? That was in here. Give me time. Give me a moment here. Super rare, probably? Sorry about this. It's just taking me a while to figure out where they put this. Is it regular? Okay, so it hasn't, it hasn't been put into legacy material yet. But you could basically bring cards over from Season 1 into Season 2. Now, with these, essentially you were taking a higher card, reducing the stats tremendously, but still able to use them as part of Season 2. As you can see right here, um, with her father, Jim Neidhart. Rest in peace. We will miss you. Condolences go out to the family there. But getting back to the video here. As you can see, the background was a bit different. The point totals were a little bit lower, but it gave you a better edge because you had your ultras well in advance of your rares and etc. etc. In time, we they would introduce training your cards up, up, so you could basically pro your cards if you had two of them in full or any time. But they added the added of training your cards up. Um, you play a certain amount of games in each in each. In each stat, as a matter of fact, let me pull up a newer one. You're, if you, you're playing the game right now, so you know what this looks like. But just for those of you, just to bring you up to speed, they would bring up training um, with your commons and your uncom. With your commons, they would be in each, and then as you got up in, in rank of cards, then you had to play a little bit more, get your ability, etc., etc., etc. Um, as time went on, they introduced new elements like ring domination. Um, back then, they only had two event modes. They were PCC, that was People's Champion Challenge, as well as Road to Glory. People's Champions Challenge was essentially two cards. You chose one that you want to play for, but the one that got the most wins got that card released as part of their tier. So you would see things like Hulk Hogan against Andre the Giant. I wish they did more of those legend things more often. Um, Brock Lesnar against Cena, I think. Um, Dolph Ziggler against Luke Harper, etc., etc., etc. So yeah, like I said, the winner, the card that got the most wins, that card was the one that was released. Yeah, Glory, um, starting out with Sting, I believe. And pretty much the easiest road to glory ever. But they got a little bit more difficult as time went on. Um, I remember very much the Triple H Road to Glory. That was the second one after Sting. Hard as hell. Basically two pointed over two cards. Trust me, I had a, it, was a, it was one of those weird cases where I had the day off from work. And I had a lot of time on my hands. And I didn't have much as many responsibilities as I do now. So yeah, I two pointed two cards. And after that was over... I'm like never again, but still do it anyway. So, so then as time went on, they introduced things like Last Man Standing. What we're playing now, the latest one, I got four thousand forty as a Randy Orton card. Good addition to my deck. Um, what else here? Over time, um, people went from just being players of the game 
to becoming a wonderful community in terms of the boards that were on 2k forums i no longer go on those because it's been a pain in the butt sorry to be negative but there's more restrictions on the board i prefer to do twitter and facebook because it's more of a everyone's helping out each other and don't have to worry about anything type things but basically that community built on the forum community builds on twitter community builds on facebook um, beyond just being players to becoming more of a I know you, you know me situation. Community is, community is the best part of this game because most of the times you'll have teams that will help out other people, bring them up from a lower tier to help them out, build them up so that they could be just as powerful as they are and get further on the game. That's the, that's I love that more than anything, the community of this game. Um, What else? In any case, there's been so many things going on, so many events, so many cards we've played for, so many great times we've had, so many wonderful moments that we've shared. Um, if you want to share something, um, I'm going to put this thing on my Twitter thing. But um, you want to, if you want, feel free to drop a comment in the box below. And um, if you see this as a share on Twitter, share your favorite moment in the in the in that particular. Let us know exactly how you feel about the game, how you're playing it, where you're at. Um, are you looking forward to SummerSlam 18 here? Are you looking to see what's coming up next somewhere down the line? Are you hoping a reset? Um, are you hoping that they keep going on and introducing new tiers? What do you feel? Drop it in the box below. If you like this video, throw a like on it. If you want to see future videos, subscribe because I plan on probably getting back on a more regular basis i know i've said it before there's been so much stuff that's happened in life that's kind of kept me from that but i'm gonna try to get back to doing these videos on a semi-regular basis so you get to know me again um like I, myself i don't care if i get three views i don't care if i get 30 300 3 million as long as i get one that means one of you guys took the time out of your day video and pretty much was interested in and what I had to say on it. So, if like I said, if it's just one of you out there, that makes it worth it to me. Um, so yeah, throw a subscribe on that. Keep up to date on those future on those future videos. I do more than just than our videos. So you may see thoughts and opinions of other things, but just know that that will happen. Share this video if you like it. Tell your friends about it. Uh, so. Network era doesn't care. I'm not in the gameplay anyway. But like I said, like the video, subscribe on it, tell a friend, throw a comment in the box below that you've seen this. Tell me what you think. Tell me what's going on in your head. I'm interested in hearing what you have to say. Um, what else? <laughs> so yeah, I may do another video sometime within the upcoming week covering SummerSlam tier. With me on my Twitter account at Catch the Pinfall. Um, if you're into wrestling and want to keep up with some wrestling stuff, um, catch me on Facebook at my group Catch the Pinfalls. Really easy to put, really easy to figure that out. Um, I do ask a couple of questions before you join in. As a point of your answers, just say I heard you on your video. You'll be in without any problem. Um, I guess that's it for me. Can't think of anything else to say other than to Supercard, to Cat Daddy Games, to everyone that's out there that's enjoyed this game more than anything. Happy anniversary. Happy fourth anniversary. Looking forward to the fifth. Um, for Double A, this WWE Supercard saying see you next time. And so long from ringside. Goodbye, everybody.